We're getting back to basics in this video as we take a look at the fundamental concepts of a vehicle's braking system. For those of you who have been in the business a while, this isn't breaking news, but it never hurts to revisit the fundamentals, especially when we're talking about a vehicle's most important safety system. A properly operating braking system generates friction that slows the vehicle relative to the amount of force applied to the brake pedal. When the driver pushes the brake pedal, the force creates hydraulic pressure in the master cylinder. This pressure flows through the hydraulic lines and hoses to the wheel cylinders and the calipers. In vehicles with drum brakes, this pressure forces the shoes against the drums. In vehicles with disc brakes, it forces the pads against the rotors. In typical driving conditions, most brake pads should last between 40,000 to 60,000 miles. Manufacturers usually recommend changing the brake pads when they wear down to between 2 and 4 millimeters thick. However, the life of brake pads and shoes depends on a number of factors, including miles driven, braking frequency, driving style, brake temperatures, environmental conditions, and the quality of the friction material. Some brake pads have a sensor that will light up an icon on the instrument cluster, warning that the pad material is down to the last few millimeters. For most vehicles, though, there's a little metal tab on the brake pad that will make a high-pitched scraping sound when the pad material is down to the minimum thickness. Your customers never should let their brakes get to the metal-to-metal -metal point, which is why regular inspection is a must. Brake rotors are wear items as well. Every rotor has a minimum thickness or discard specification cast or stamped somewhere on the center hat section of the rotor. When the brake pads are replaced, the rotors always should be measured with a micrometer to determine their thickness. If the rotors are worn too thin, or they're at or below the minimum or discard thickness, or they can't be resurfaced without exceeding the limit, the rotors must be replaced. Uneven wear of the rotors, which can cause a vibration or pulsation when the brakes are applied, is another condition that calls for replacement. Let's go over a few general selling tips. First off, replacement pads and shoes always should be the same as or better than the original. Brake calipers always should be replaced in pairs. And whenever brake pads are replaced, new hardware should be installed. Your customer should never reuse the old brake hardware. And finally, an essential aspect of doing a brake job right is making sure that all brake surfaces and components are clean. Whenever your customer is doing a brake job, you always want to recommend a brake parts cleaner to remove brake dust, grease, oil, and other contaminants. It's a great add-on sales opportunity that will ensure that the job gets done properly. I'm Josh Cable. Thanks for watching.